Hi everyone, Kansi here from Atop Serenity Hill, and welcome to my messy studio desk. I'm all set for creating today. What I wanted to do today was do 15 minutes in my art journal. I just wanted to spend some time playing and just kind of using whatever was sitting around on my table, which you just saw. Um, I will not use all of it. I just like to have a bunch of things ready to go. So what I'm working in today is a magazine that I use as an art journal. It is a catalog, actually, a clothing catalog. And I just wanted to play on the page. The first thing I wanted to do was just take some of the magazine image away. Um, in the end, you'll see that I end up taking most of it away. But at this point in the process, I have no idea where I'm going. I just know that I have, you know, a bunch of collage, mater collage materials. I have some stencils near me, my colored pencils, my Posca paint pens. Uh, I have my watercolors available. I grab some washi tape. I just put everything around me, even some rubber stamps. So it's all sitting around me just as inspiration to spend 15 minutes in my art journal. As you can see at the beginning, I even timed it. I put on a timer for 15 minutes. It beeps at me every five as it counts down. So I, I know where I am as I'm going. And this is such a great way to limit yourself, to give yourself some space. Well, I'm saying limit and space at the same time. So limit yourself in that you're not trying to bring all your supplies out. Um, give yourself freedom, I should say, to just try and see what you can do with what's lying around on your art table and play, just play and see what comes up. I had no preconceived notions for this art page at all. I just knew that I wanted to play for 15 minutes. And so I did. I started the first thing, cover some page, cover the page up a little bit with some white. Then what speaks to me after that is me just letting my eyes roam over the supplies that are sitting by my table and I start just picking things at random so you know that's where the watercolor came from it was too white I needed some color I'm going to put down some color you know I want to see what this big stamp is going to do I haven't used it in a really long time and as you can see it didn't actually show up very much but it's another layer in this art journal process and in the end bits of it I'm sure will pop up and show but you know it got me to try another layer with a supply I hadn't used in a while so the next thing that popped into my head as you're going to see is the word grid just popped into my head and one of the reasons it popped in has been is because I've been using it recently a grid pattern to teach some art journal classes and so it's living in my head. So if I let my brain kind of free flow and, and just see what pops in and pops up, then you kind of know what's been going on in your life and, and what's been going on in your world. And the grid popped in because I've been playing with it a lot. And I looked over and there was the washi tape and it seemed, well, let's grid out with washi tape. And so, you know, I still had white paint left over. That was another thing. I had white paint left over from stenciling. So what could I do with that leftover paint? Which, as you can see, I ended up making the grids even more pronounced. So from there, I just keep going and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of it. Take your studio table or wherever you are just grab a bunch of supplies put them around you set a timer for 15 minutes and just see what happens all right we'll see you in another video don't forget to subscribe like and maybe share this video with a friend i'll see you in another video thanks so much my friends